Today I'm carrying the Kenwood D74. Yes, the older model. I don't see any reason to step up. I don't need the new features. What I like about this radio is first of all it's Kenwood so it's a good quality build, the radio. Uh, the power modes are, go it goes all the way from high to extra low. Um, and I like the fact that with this radio you can monitor other bands other than just 220, 440. And I just like this radio. And what I don't like, the battery life. Uh, with this D74, Squawk and APRS, which is, that's another thing I like about it. It does APRS, but Squawk and APRS, this battery won't do the trick. Mike K at MRD, I am carrying the ICOM ID50. I love this radio. It's durable. It charges with USB-C and programs. You can also charge it with 12 volts. I love everything about it. It's got ICOM's very familiar and easy to use menu structure. Oh, and the battery lasts for days. I have dropped this on gravel, in the sand, in the dirt. It's waterproof, you can throw it in the pool, you're not gonna hurt it. The only thing that I don't like about it, when you hit the quick menu here, you can, you can change the, uh, you can put, you can turn the tone on and off, but you can't change the tone frequency, the PL tone. You gotta go all the way in the settings to do that. But other than that, this thing is 100% KMRD proof. Tank radio here. I my uh, HT radio is the Anytone the HT uh, H7, H78UV. One of those you'll figure it out. Um, what I do like about it is DMR and it also has high power. So on two meter, I transmit up to seven watts. Unfortunately, you only get the five watts on seven centimeter even on the high power mode. What I don't like about it is it's um, the battery. The battery life, the original battery wasn't that great. I did replace it with a battery I got from Bridgecom. It has that USB charger, the USB-C right there. Yeah, you don't have to carry a cradle anymore. And of course, you gotta replace that rubber duck antenna and I got the signal stick. Hey, I'm Jim from FEP Labs Radio, WT1W. This is the Yaesu FT5D and I love this radio because you can program it from the keyboard and know what you're doing with it. What I don't love about it is that sending an APRS text message on this requires three degrees in nuclear physics, engineering, and witchcraft. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. My friend Jason asked me what radio I am carrying, and this is the Radioddity GA-5WB, which you can't get anymore.